signify having been born of goodly parents. Now, how many of you, when you read this scripture, think to yourself, man, I have the greatest parents ever. Raise your hand if you do that. I know I do. Okay. Well, let's think about this. How many children can honestly say this about their parents? How about 278,000 children cannot honestly say that about their parents? That is a statistic done by the Children's Advocacy Center. That is the number of children in last year, 2012, that were reportedly abused or neglected. Out of their 287,000 children, uh, 109,000 of them were six years old or younger. Nearly 50,000 of their children were physically abused, and even more, 197,000 of their children were sexually abused. And out of all of that, 85,000 of those children received this, this abuse from those that loved them the most, and that is their parents or step parents. So that is what I'm here to exhort all of you to do, to choose to adopt. I want to show you a picture of a couple that just decided to adopt 11 children. This is my family. So, this is my dad, this is my mom, this is my first sister. You know the restaurant where kids eat free? We ate at those restaurants all the time. It was so fun. People always thought we were from a church group or a daycare. <laughs> but, this is us being thrown as a family um, into the Dallas, Texas temple. My life has been so blessed because of adoption. Each and every single one of us have our own personal story of sexual or physical abuse and even neglect. So our life went from literal hell to being celestial because of my parents reaching out and saving each and every single one of us from our circumstances. Adoption is great. It's blessed my life tremendously. But I want to show you a video of what will happen if more people don't step up and save these children and adopt them. Um, what I'm going to show you is uh, a news report of what has happened to a couple of children. And if you don't do well with hearing about child abuse, feel free to take a step off the door and close your ears for a second. That's totally okay if you choose to. Okay. turned into a much bigger case involving two children and the remains of another. Brian and Shannon Gore's six-year-old daughter was found caged and eating the flakes of her own skin, according to authorities. Investigators say the Gores claim she caused too much turmoil in the home because she has Down syndrome and cerebral palsy. Police say it's not clear how long she was caged. Brian Gore told police the girl had been caged since last summer. His wife, Shannon, said the girl had been caged for two months. I mean, never once did she ever mention having another child. In fact, she told me this was her first baby she was expecting, and how, you know, we talked about how nervous she was. The little girl, we thought maybe was two, was two years old because how skinny she was. I mean, she was a twig size. Investigators say the girl appeared to be emaciated and was taken to a local hospital, where she is now listed in guarded condition. Further investigation of the home revealed another gruesome discovery. The remains of a child buried beneath a shed. The child has not been identified. So These things do not need to happen. But they do. Thousands of children are suffering every single day. Now, all of us would agree, I'm sure, that adoption is great and it's wonderful. However, adoption is very difficult. Very expensive. There's lots of paperwork. What if you? What if the child you adopt doesn't connect with you well? And what if the child becomes wayward? What if the child has such a hard background that you don't feel that you can you know, properly raise this child? And first off, if you if a child has such an extreme case and you feel that you can't properly raise this child, that is okay. You get to choose the children that you adopt and bring into your family and allow to influence your own children. Secondly, how many of you have a wayward sibling? Raise your hand. I know I do. A wayward sibling or a relative? This goes to show that every single, every single child, whether biological or adopted, they have agency to choose what path to take in life. But as a parent, 
you, uh, in a sense, you're doing missionary work. You give that, op- that child an opportunity to learn about the gospel and be raised in such a better environment. Thirdly, adoption is very expensive. It, my mother said it can cost anywhere from twenty to thirty thousand dollars. Honestly, that's not pocket change for me. That is a lot of money. But if you choose to adopt through Child Protective Services (CPS), the cost of adopting that child is covered absolutely free. Secondly, when you adopt that child, that child will automatically receive free Medicaid to make sure that it receives adequate health care. Thirdly, as a parent, you will receive. $350 to $500 each and every single month to provide for that child's needs, such as the food and clothing and the shelter. Fourthly, which is very, very interesting, um, when you adopt a child, you give that child an excellent opportunity, a uh, wonderful opportunity to receive an excellent education. That child will receive free college tuition to whatever state, to a state college that they were adopted in if they choose to go to a state college. Fifth, not only is adoption important, the Lord has dedicated an entire chapter to adoption. In Isaiah chapter 54, verses 2, 1, 2, and 13, this is these are the scriptures that I'm going to read. These are the scriptures that help influence my mother to choose to adopt us. It says, For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord. Enlarge the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitation. Spare not. Lengthen thy cords and strengthen thy stakes. And these are the promises. And all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children. So honestly, great has been my peace due to my parents reaching out and saving me from the situation that I was in. So that's my invitation to every single one of you to choose to adopt, to seriously consider it, and to help out a child and give them a better life. There's a quote, and the author is unknown. However, honestly, when you adopt a child, the world will not change. But for that child, their world will change. For me and my own siblings, each and every one of our lives will change for the better. When you adopt a child, you give that child the opportunity to sincerely sing, I have a family to honor. They are so good to me, and I want to spend my life with them through all eternity. Families can be together forever.